everyone. My name is Debbie Shell. It's such a pleasure to be here. This is my first time in Bangkok and I'm loving every part of it. I'm very happy to be here in a Web3 conference with 200,000 participants. These things couldn't have been thought a while ago. It's still a little bit difficult to explain Web3 and blockchain to our friends. They have to say, oh, I have to remember 12 phase again. I have to remember another password as if internet was not difficult enough. Behind every visionary project, there is a visionary person, and in this case, it's uh, the founder of Meta Earth, is Patrick Orr. Patrick has 21 years of experience in fintech and in finance, and he has worked all over the world, let's say from Zurich to New York to London. Patrick, what he saw a lot of financial gaps, he saw a lot of harm done to our world, to our environment, and then he assembled a team of experts which are in uh, VR, in finance, in AI, and he backed up by 50 million dollar development fund. Let's start with the tools. The first one is MeID. MeID is the access, your digital passport to enter into Meta Earth. It's a private and secure way to prove who you are online. With MeID, you get to enter to Meta Earth. After MeID, we have MePass. MePass is our uh, wallet where you can directly register and pass the KYC. You can manage your assets. You have their decision-making power and also access various tools. The last thing is the Mi Virtual. Just take out your goggles, put them on, and enter into Metaverse. Another very important thing in Meta Earth is proof of personhood and the KYC verification. Why? While the KYC confirms that you are legitimate, when every participant in Meta Earth is real because there are real people behind it. And new users can enter very easily into Meta Earth. But the backbone of it all, I can say, that is the mean network. Okay. What is the mean network all about? So unlike monolithic blockchains, which can slow down when they have too many transactions, mean network is a modular and multidimensional blockchain. And this kind of blockchain is built not to have any congestion, not to have any traffic. It operates in various layers. And uh, here comes the four layer magic. We have the execution layer, which breaks down complex tasks into manageable steps. Let's say not one chef in the kitchen has to prepare all the plates. He gets different chefs to prepare the specialities. We have the settlement layer. The settlement layer acts as a quality control, verifying that every task is complete and accurate. We have the data availability layer that keeps the data moving without delays. And the consensus layer, as I will call it, a group of detectors that give consensus that every transaction is secure and is fair. To top it all, we have the multi-blockchain communication, which connects Meta Earth with other blockchains. So Meta Earth blockchain can interact with other blockchains. We have 200 plus zones in all the world. Why? Because we have around 200 countries, so each zone is represented by a country. Let's say I'm a Spanish citizen and I'm represented by the zone of Spain. You are from Thailand and you are in the zone of Thailand. You can pass the KYC in our project and enter in the zone you belong to. The economic model of Meta Earth is very unique because experts have created a unique model that is free to join, so everyone can join Meta Earth. This means that any can be, anyone can become part of it, and because their tokens are limited, are deflationary, each token could become more valuable. Here is how. First, we have the MEC token. This is our native uh, token, native currency. It has a total supply of 20 billion. 10 billion are for all the people all around the world, for every citizen, and the other 10 billion is halving every year. At the moment you pass the MEID and the pass the KYC, you automatically get an NEC token. Another very important and interesting thing is called the unconditional basic income. Through MEC, doesn't matter if you are in Thailand or if you are in Spain, each citizen gets one MEC token and gets unconditional basic income for all the citizens for each zone. Imagine an economy where everyone, no matter their background, receives a fair equal share. This is what the economy behind Meta Earth is about. Okay, so another thing that is very, very important, it's called proof of personhood and KYC. Why is this so important? Because in Meta Earth, we're building a community where everyone is real. Each account ID is 
time to a real person thanks to proof of personhood and the KYC. This helps uh, to avoid the civil attacks, the situation when one person can create dozens of accounts and receive dozens of tokens. This will not happen with Meta Earth just because of proof of personhood. Imagine verifying your identity the day of tomorrow with the proof of, proof of personhood in a bank or anywhere else. This is the power that we have. And uh, we are in the public testing phase and everyone is invited to join the project early to get your token. Thanks for jumping in and uh, welcome to Metar.